Alright, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, this is the DTS version. I uh, wanted to get this because you know, I love DTS laser discs. They just sound so spectacular. And it's CLV. You get no uh, you get no supplements whatsoever. The supplement, I guess, is the, 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 CL, is the uh, DTS presentation. The transfer, though, is no different from the, uh, from the THX box set that I have of the of, uh, Night Before Christmas. So you're not really missing anything. And it is a box at 1.661. So, gotta have that one for the sound. Alright, here we go. Oliver and Company, CAV widescreen. Uh, also, this is, this is one of those bare bones uh, CAV uh, releases. No TSX certification, uh, no supplements, just the movie and widescreen. And uh, I actually brought my lasers player over to my friend's house and we put it on his plasma. And uh, this actually looked pretty good in pl on the plasma. Uh, but you know, still, it's uh, Dolby surround, no Dolby digital, uh, no, no Dolby digital sound. So still good to have. Uh, they re-released this recently, so that's probably the better version to get if it's uh, unless it's you know they framed it differently. All right, Peter Pan 45th anniversary edition restored CAV wide. Yeah, well, that's not widescreen because it's in the Academy ratio. Um, it is THX certified. Nice gold cover here. Nice gatefold. And what we got for supplements? Yeah, it's got a whole f fourth side for supplements. Uh, we got uh, you can fly, making up Peter Pan, uh, duh, 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 duh. and some analog audio. You know, they put some different stuff on the, side, on the other side: concept art, character design, storyboard art, and live action reference. So, yep, full frame because this is Academy Ratio movie. Uh, good to have. Another one, it's one of my favorite, uh, it is one of my favorite, uh, Disney movies, even though they kind of had a little bit, uh, <laughs> as they do with all the movies, just a little bit of, uh, of, uh, liberties with the original Peter Pan story, but, you know, it is what it is. It's talking about liberties with the original story. <laughs> Disney's Robin Hood. Uh, this is the, uh, the old, old, uh, analog laser disc of, uh, Disney Robin Hood. This came out in 1983. Um, I got this as a package deal. I would, and it's, I'd never bother looking at it because I know it's going to look like crap. But uh, I don't know if I'll ever get the other, the, the re-release. As a, it's, I mean, this is a decent movie, but you know, this was just a cash-in because they pretty much just reused all the cells they had of uh, Baloo from, <laughs> from the Jungle Book and threw them in this movie for Little John and had uh, Phil Harris pull the voice in again. So, uh... Decent, not great, but it is better than some of the anime movies that Disney has put up. Like this one, I don't care for this one very much. Uh, Sword in the Stone. I also got this as a uh, package deal from some from somewhere. Uh, it's restored, so they speak, so they say. Um, there was another release that came out in the late '90s. Uh, I might get that one just for completeness' sake, but then again, I might not. Not sure. And this one has no supplements whatsoever. This is CA, the CLV release. So, eh, if you like Sword and Stone, I really, I don't really care for it. Okay, we've got Disney Tall Tale, um, Patrick Swayze, may he rest in peace, Scott Glenn, Oliver Platt, Oliver Platt as <laughs> Paul Bunyan. <laughs> I, you know, some people don't like this movie, I do because when I was growing up in school, they kind of nailed and uh, hammered into our heads the, uh, the Tall Tales of Pecos Bill and all that, and see the characters come to life all together in one movie. I thought it was really neat. Um, so, yeah. Love that. Glad I got this movie. Widescreen, no less. But, you know, does it have any supplements? Nope, no supplements whatsoever. So, it is what it is. Okay. CLV, widescreen of uh, Toy Story. THX certified, Dolby Digital. Uh, yeah, this is a straightforward release. No uh, bare bones. Nothing to it. Uh... I do have the box set. I'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> and this is the initial CAV widescreen release of a uh, letterbox release of uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, and this is the one that caused controversy because you, know, you can step through the one scene where you know Jessica Rabbit got thrown off of uh, uh, the, the, the 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 taxi cab, and you can see her near the regions. Um, 
at a box of 1.85 to 1. There was a, what you call it, where is it? There was a 1998 Laserdisc release in CLV widescreen restored version where the colors are corrected um, and stuff like that. Yeah, this, this presentation wasn't the best. I mean, they didn't really... Uh, it is kind of like yeah, the colors are off, you can tell. Um, the 1998 release uh, corrected that, plus it has a commentary track from uh, Robert Zemeckis and the animation director... What is his name? I know I should know it because he also did the animation for several uh, for the uh, uh, for the what you call it, Pink Panther movies. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hate myself for this, but as a commentary track and pick, yeah, the colors are picked up in, in the other version. So I do want to get that that widescreen from 1998 version. And your cheeks so soft, there is nothing for me but to love. 